Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going through Act 6.3, and this is quest number two. Now, this uh, video is gonna be a little bit different because I have a couple of attempts uh, mixed in here. So this fight that you're looking at right here is from my initial clear and the first attempt. I went to the far left, which was the power shield path. And I did not realize what it would mean for this Gwenpool. So with Power Shield, your regular attacks are not going to do any damage. But your special attacks will do extra damage. So I went in here thinking, well, Ghost is going to rock this. But Gwenpool, when she's awakened, cannot be killed with a special. So we have a problem. A very big problem. Now, there's a couple of ways around this. You want to bring in somebody that can do some extra damage, like a damage over time. That will work just fine to take her out. Uh, or, if you can reduce uh, defensive abilities, you can get her as well. Now, when I went in here for this first time, I had no points in assassination. If you have assassination or if it's maxed or anything like that, you won't have a problem doing this fight even with Ghost. Because when she gets low like that, eventually you're going to take her out. One of those times her ability is going to fail her and she's going to go down. But I didn't have it um, and I did not feel like redoing my masteries just for this fight honestly so at this point i'm just shaking my head at myself you know i'm like well i'm trying to build my units back up after spending so much i do not want to spend units again to uh do this now if i do switch my masteries around i'll probably put at least one point in it like i used to do all right but for this one i didn't so i went a little bit just just to uh show that this is not gonna work the way it is. And I wanted this to be a cautionary tale for you guys, but other than this fight, that path, I believe, is the easiest. It's the one all the way to the left. So go in there, go in there with somebody that can do damage over time, that has some great uh, damage on their specials, and you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. Now, here's something else that happened. So, of course, I quit the fight when I saw that it was unwinnable the way that I had it there. And I went back. This time, I brought in a different team. Brought in Guillotine 2099 because I wanted to use her against this Gwenpool. So, my second attempt, we went all the way through. But it didn't record it. Now, I can tell you how tilted I was to find that out. Fortunately, I stopped and checked before the boss fight. But I'm looking around for the recording because I had made sure that I was recording. It stopped recording. So what you're looking at now, I have already gone through all of Act 6.3, my initial clear, and I went back to quest number two so that I could do another path and show you guys that run all right so uh, in the beginning you had my initial attempt and you saw where I ended up stopping uh, in that initial attempt and what you will have at the end is the boss fight from the initial clear but this path is another path that I consider to be pretty easy. So, Power Shield, very, very easy. And we'll talk about this one as well. And what makes the path easy is gonna depend on your roster. All right, so on this path, you can see who I'm fighting here. These guys don't have any extra nodes. Now, what they do have is a lot of attack um, they still have the globals, which gives them so much more attack. So you don't really want to take a lot of blocked hits if you can help it. 
So Ghost is great for it. I'm still not, you know, an expert Ghost player. So you will see me taking chip damage that, you know, a, a much better Ghost player would not take. All right, but I get it done. Now I can see him in the corner and I really did not want to push him to his special two. I didn't want to do it, but I did it and we survived it. But you can see I'm still taking a little chip damage. All right, um, but you know, whatever, we'll get it done. I'll heal up if I need to, since it seems like I'm gonna be uh, taking damage like that, uh, but no biggie. So next up is Bishop. I do not like fighting Bishop. I really need to look more into his abilities. He's been in the game for quite a while now. And I usually fight him with Starkey if I can help it. But I didn't have Starkey this time. I think uh, he was in war. And Ghost can do it. No problem. But for some reason, every once in a while, I mess up with Bishop and he'll do something and it's probably in his abilities and I'll be like, okay, but here we go. Now, I want you guys to know and watch and see what that AI did. The AI, when you're phased with Ghost, unless you phase right before their special, they will wait to fire off their specials when you're in the middle of the phase, when they know the phase is gonna end during their special attack. So you have to be aware of that so that you know when to block or when to just evade it and not rely on that phase. So you have to have that phase timer in your head. That's why you practice with Ghost. You wanna get that phase timer. All right, so you can see the nodes here, spry, gassed, and debilitate. That's the path that I consider maybe the second easiest. So anytime they evade, you're gonna get a fatigue debuff on you and you wanna avoid that. So what you wanna do for this path is shut down their evade. That's the goal. If you have someone that can shut it down, you're great. Now notice that this first uh, attacker, uh, I brought in Venom. So the first uh, guy that I'm fighting here is a Spider-Verse champion. Venom shuts down the evade of all the Spider-Verse champions. That is why you see this classic Spider-Man who normally evades like crazy. You don't see him evading at all, and you won't. Against Venom, he does not evade. Uh, so Venom, very good for this path. Now, they sprinkled a couple of non-Spider-Verse champions on this path, so you want to be careful about that. All right, so you don't want Venom for every single fight, but he's great for these fights. So I'm thinking, all right, these first two fights, uh, I should be able to use Venom, you know, no problem. But the chip damage, it is just crazy. So for the most part, what I wanna do is keep pushing him to his special two, because that special two is very easy to evade. Now I'm running suicides, so I'm taking damage from recoil, as well as the chip damage from, you know, taking a lot of blocked hits. All right, so you see here, I'm holding my block right close to him. That's to keep him from firing his special. Most of the time, they're not gonna fire their special while you're holding your block. But it does mean that you have to be very quick because they may start hitting into your block. So the next fight is Stealth Spidey. And I definitely don't know enough about him. I got him as a five star, but I need to really look into his abilities. I see a lot of people rank fiving him. Uh, I don't really like his seven hit combo. It messes me up both on offense and defense, all right? But from what I was told, he has like one evade that he does, so he doesn't evade like classic Spider-Man. But of course, against Venom, he's not gonna even get that evade. But because of that seven hit combo, ugh, very annoying. And as you can see, I'm already hurt. 
So I'm just trying to get as much damage on him as possible. Okay, I'm not used to fighting him. So I was taking the blocked hits with his special and everything like that because I'm not confident enough to evade those just yet. Now the first one, you know, his special one, very easy to evade. But that special two has a projectile component to it. And I'm, I've not gotten the timing down perfectly yet. So my goal is to basically evade, you know, push him to a special one and evade that. All right. So Venom, very good against uh, this encounter as well. But of course, this is me. And as you can see here, he don't want to throw that special. I'm trying to get him. I'm like, come on, throw it. There we go. Finally, he throws that special. And I was like, wow. But I went in too slow. And then just look at this. All of that was against my block. And I don't know why. Maybe I was just a little slow in the attack. But he was already blocking. And boom. He just got me on my block. Hit me on my shin. All right. So down went Venom. If I had healed up for that fight. You know, I would have easily been able to take him, of course. But fortunately, Ghost can handle this entire path. I just wanted to get some, uh, you know, Venom gameplay in there because I love me some Venom. Now, with Ghost, of course, you can see because he has that double hit, just like Domino, you have to wait for the second hit to be over. And then this happened. I can't tell you how upset I was. I was like, wait, I thought I had a special two. No, didn't have a special two. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. He didn't punish it and we got him down. So next up, we've got Ultron. Now this particular Ultron, I've never liked fighting. His evades are random. He evades even more when he has that regen uh, going on. Now, when you're fighting with Ghost, You'll notice that I'm hitting just one, one hit, phase, medium attack, phase, medium attack. Uh, that is because Ghost's medium, when she comes out of phase like that, cannot be evaded. Now that one, you know, I take some risks, but for the most part, I try to just attack once out of phase, that one that will not be evaded or while they are stunned and that's pretty much what you want to do so this path doesn't actually require anyone special you don't have limber so you can bring someone in here and just do parry and you know three hit combos while they're stunned and you'll be fine even if you mess up a little bit and you know, you attack them and they evade, big deal. You'll get the fatigue on you. You might have to play around a little bit longer uh, for that fatigue debuff to get off of you or, you know, what have you. But it's not the end of the world. So that's why I consider this path also uh, to be one of the easiest because it's very easy to play around. Now, based on your roster, based on your skills, you may find this path to be more difficult. Just evaluate all the paths and see if you find one that uh, fits you better. All right. So in this video, you actually got a chance to see two different paths that I consider to be pretty easy. All right. So now we're fighting Black Widow. And anybody that has fought Black Widow knows that she has this so-called small chance to evade. But it seems like she evades way more than her description uh, shows so I'm still going to just do you know one hit combos now the thing that is very dangerous that I was very worried about here is that Black Widow can shut down my abilities so one of the times that I dash back to phase I may not so I'm getting lucky right here and I just figured that I might have to take you know a revive or two on this one because if she shuts it down 
and I don't see it in time and I can't evade and I go and attack, well, then that's just me. So I'm trying to hesitate just a little bit to watch. And so far, she has not shut it down. Okay. And I don't want her to shut it down right when I go for my special two attack because that could be ugly. All right. And then I went to do the special two right there and she attacked with her special, which is why you saw me phase. And then she was firing her special off. And so I'm like, okay. So I had to wait for that to go hit her. Then I was able to phase and do it. So that fight went much better than I was afraid it would. So next up, we've got Spider-Man and this is Symbiote and I actually like him. Now, as far as evades go with him, uh, he doesn't evade like the others. His evade is after he fires off that special one and he has that spider sense buff active. That's when you need to worry about him evading like crazy. All right, so I'm still doing the one hit combo because that's also a great way to do a lot of damage initially with Ghost because because I'm running suicides, the bleed and poison from my full suicides, they are converted right off the bat because she is awakened into Furies. So when she's awakened, she starts out phased. If she's not awakened, you could just dash back and get the same exact thing. As long as she phases, she's gonna convert all damaging debuffs to Furies. So awakened, running suicides, just means that I'm gonna start the fight with these two Furies. And so the best way to get the most damage is initially start doing one hit one hit one hit because you're going to be doing major damage those crits are going to be crazy because you have those two furies once that wears off then you can play a little bit looser now while this buff is up i'm definitely not going to fight him with multiple combos because that's when he's going to uh, evade all right so you can see here now i don't have to worry too much about it and that one percent that thing just gets me, man. Oh, I hate that 1%. I really wish they would look into it, but it didn't mess me up this time, and we got him down. Fight took just a tad longer than it uh, would have otherwise, because that should have taken him out, really. All right, so now we're coming up against this goal pool, and he's pretty stacked, okay? And you're gonna have to worry about this one. Vigorous Assault, all right, when he's regening, he's gonna get more uh, attack and he's going to be unblockable. He has poison vulnerability, so if you have somebody that can do poison, then this is gonna be the fight for them. All right, and finally, you have to deal with spiked armor. So we brought in my girl, Guillotine 2099. So what makes her so great against this is because she doesn't crit. So if you don't know about spiked armor, when you crit, you take damage. So if you have someone that doesn't crit, then you're not gonna be taking the damage. Now, crossbones was my first counter to uh, spiked armor because crossbones does not crit. Anytime he would crit, he gains a fury and he just keeps hitting harder and harder. So he is awesome for spiked armor. I don't have a five-star crossbones. I want one, but I don't have him. But Guillotine 2099, she also does not crit normally. She has a pre-fight ability that allows her to get a guaranteed crit on certain attacks. But I think it's like every 20th. But other than that, she doesn't crit. But she does do that degen. So you can see she's doing a lot of degen damage. And again, because I'm running suicides, I didn't want to fire off a lot of specials. So really, for this fight, what I have to be careful about is just when he gets his regen, I have to be very careful. And other than that, just evade. Evade his specials. Both of his specials are very easy to evade. So as long as you have a good counter for this guy here, you're not gonna have a problem on this path. 
So outside of the path that you can really just play around, uh, spry, gassed, all that, you want to bring someone that can handle this guy and you want to bring someone that can handle the boss. So that's it, really. So what you're seeing me do here is just what I said. Uh, what I'm trying to do also is fire off the special three and finish him with the special three because guillotine 2099 when she gets above 100 hits on her combo meter she does a lot more damage and just keeps going up there's no limit okay so you see her damage starting to ramp up here like crazy so at this point i've got to be careful uh, i don't want to kill him before it's time so we've got 15 hits over 100 and just look at her damage you can evaluate it. So at this point, I'm like, all right, if I waited to 5%, it would be an insta-kill, but I don't have to. Her special three actually packs a pretty pretty good punch. And so as long as you finish it, she's gonna fight the next fight with 100 hits on her combo meter. So that's a good thing. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of ramp up champions. And one of the issues with her is if she does start the fight with 100 hits, she does so much damage, she may not be able to finish that fight uh, with a special three. She may take them out. And so then the fight after that, she'll have to build up her combo again. All right, so we're finally at the boss here and you can see what you're gonna have to deal with. This Nick Fury is crazy. I hate him, but we're gonna switch over right now. If you're quick, as you see, you see that my team changed. As I said earlier, I had in my initial clear the boss fight. So what you're seeing here is the boss fight. This is my first time fighting Nick Fury, all right? And what I do with most bosses is I go in with most of my team. I'll start with, with whoever just to do as much damage as possible. All right, you see how much block damage I'm taking. I was surprised that he didn't fire his special off right there. All right, so I already know that we're gone. All I was trying to do was as much damage and she did decently, almost 10% of his health gone. All right, and next up, we're gonna go ahead and go in with Hood. Now, I don't really like Hood for one simple, thing that's right here so when hood is invisible it messes me up all right so what happens is i'll go for a parry while invisible now i'm not ghost but sometimes when i go for the parry the parry will miss because they're missing me and that messes me up because i'm not ghost so i'll go for the parry that one will miss they'll keep going with their combo and usually they'll hit me a few times even though i'm invisible and i'm like really so he can be really annoying because of that all right so like i said all we're trying to do here is as much damage as we can before we bring in the heavy hitters that's why i'm not using ghosts right off the bat now with this team I brought in Heimdall. So I've got that little cheat death uh, mechanic that might help me, you know, get in a few extra licks. So he's um, unblockable right now, but we've done some really good damage. All right, he went blockable again. I don't know how you say that, unblockable, yeah. He went blockable again. And there, Heimdall triggered. And now, anything that we get from this point is extra, thanks to Heimdall wasn't that much but we did some uh we did some good work with hood all right so now i'm like well my guillotine is down again remember this is from the initial clear she had uh, gone down against a fight on that leftmost path and so now i'm going in with ghost so ghost is not the best as you see here 
against him because of that. The miss failed, but because I have the hood synergy, I didn't take any damage because of it. Now, let me tell you guys, my second boss fight, I'm not including that because this is already long enough, but that fight had me tilted. So you're seeing my first attempt and you'll see how I did in this one. The second one did not go as well. I don't know what it was, but he kept hitting me. Instead of that, you know, he would go full hit combo and he would always time it so that he was hitting me after my phase ended. And I don't know how many revives I used, but it was something like six or seven revives. I refused to heal. So a lot of those were my fault. I played tilted and I was just like, no, we're not doing this, you know? And I just kept going, kept going. I'd revive, go in, still have a bunch of revives in my overflow, but you know, anyway, all I was trying to do with her at this point, I just wanted to get him to his second phase because once to his second phase, you'll see how we handle that. And I thought about bringing Heimdall in, but he's really not uh, for anything but synergies at this point. Now, if I had him ranked up, I would have brought him in to do a little extra, a little extra damage. All right, so you see, I just went ahead, didn't bother to heal, all right? And we're just going in, we pushed him to his second phase. Now, what we're gonna do is just let that D-Gen he has on him do most of the work for us, all right? That's why I wanted to push him to his special two. All right, so all you see me doing here, all I'm trying to do is let that go. He's gonna go down to 30% just from the D-Gen and then we can fight, okay? So you look at that, all that damage and I haven't touched him. All right, so we're getting down. All right, now it's gonna stop. So now I attack, boom, fire off. And see, I tried to fire my special right there. I was so salty at this point. All right, but we got him, boom, boom, boom. And we're not dead at least. Thank you, Heimdall. All right, but there, there he goes hitting me again, but thanks to the hood synergy and another special two and he's down. So that went much better. One revive and we're done. The second one, about seven revives. It was insane. That won't happen again. I'll probably bring in somebody else for him. I'm not sure who at this point, but somebody else. Anyway, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day.